Legend Total War here, and today we've got a Saving Your Disaster campaign, playing as Lothurn on Legendary Difficulty in Warhammer 2 Mortal Empires. This is... I don't think I've ever seen a campaign more in need of saving than this one here, for Warhammer 2. The situation is so damn dire, it's not funny. So, we've only got one settlement left. Uh, it's a tier 5 settlement, but in all honesty, the garrison, I do not like it. It's full of white lines of trace, which are probably one of my least favorite units in the game. I hate them. And Lothurn Seaguard, units that I don't think are particularly good either. And Silverhelms, units that I don't like either. So it's got a garrison I don't like, and it's got overwhelming forces here to attack it. And we've got Marath. Marathi is allied with them, so that she's probably going to come in to attack as well. So pretty much consider that gone. Now, what else do we have left? We have a small army that Tyrion owns over here. This is it. It's very tiny. Now, there's so much to basically cringe about in in this. But, I don't know. Maybe it was a, a, a newer player. Didn't realize how strong Lothurn can be. And just didn't utilize all of their strengths. Or really any of their strengths. Um, but they should definitely watch this video and take some notes. Because if, if I can save this, they're going to... Even if I hand it back to them, they, they need to rethink the way that they play. That's for definite. Um, uh, now, if I have a look over here, we can check to see how... Well, what basically happened. I can't go before turn 12 for some reason. But we can see that he, he did get... He got most of the of Ulthuan, and then And then lost it all, pretty much. Now, from what he told me, what happened was, is that he was doing well, and he, he, he was doing it via confederations, he was just confederating with a lot of them, and then it was two things that happened at once. Lothurn, uh, sorry, um, Cult of Pleasure brought in a lot of armies, and he confederated with one of these other races, and it caused mass rebellions, and so while his armies were dealing with the rebellions, it just was overwhelmed, and so it gave Cult of Pleasure. You could see that other races were, like, coming back, and then just getting extinguished. Which leads us to where we are now. Now, I don't think I can save this settlement, but I'll do the best I can. Uh, but what we what we really should be doing is taking Tyrion and finding a new home. Temporarily, so that we can rebuild an army in order to take Lothurn. Because, I mean, without Lothurn, we're basically crippled. Now, with Tyrion here, uh, this, this army here really triggers me because... Tyrion has the Great Warrior trait. Reduced upkeep, minus 50% for spearmen and archers. And you got Loth and Seaguard. So you're paying full price for these units when you can go for regular archers. Now, I know that Loth and Seaguard are tier 3 units. And that archers are like tier 1 or tier 2. But, if you had... Like, these guys here don't perform that much better than, than archers anyway. I'd, I'd actually argue that archers are better because they're... They're, they're better at what they need to be doing, which is to, to shoot arrows. And these guys aren't as good spearmen as regular spearmen. So it's actually, in my opinion, better to get a couple of spearmen and mostly archers in the early game. I mean, that's the thing as well. We're at turn 114 and we've got an early game army. And this is supposed to be late game now. Anyway. So I was having a look at the diplomatic situation to see what we could do. And I saw that Karak Norn. Where are they? Aye. They're pretty weak. They're almost as weak as us. They've got one settlement here and one settlement over here. And I went to check the records to see how long they've held it. You can see that they're, based on the color, they're there right now. But if you go back just two turns, Wood Elves owned it. Because they're at war with the Wood Elves. So what does that mean? Well, the Wood Elves can't have settlements above Tier 1. Meaning that the Karak Norn down here, that's a Tier 1 settlement. Meaning that this army here might just be able to beat it. Because, that, I mean, it's all good and well to be like, oh, let's go find the closest tier 5 settlement and take it, sure. Which would be Karakizor. We're going to take Karakizor? Yeah, I don't know. I don't think we'd, um, I don't think we'd win that. I'm not sure. What I mean, if we have a look at Karakizor, let me just have a look. Clan Angrand. It's got two regions. One here and another... Who knows where it is? 
can't see, because just looking for yellow. I can't see where their other region is. Is it there? No, it's the their entry. So I don't know where their other territory is. So... So they haven't got the garrison, they haven't got the walls built there. So those are the choices. Easy or hard? What's it going to be? We're going to go for the easy option or the hard option? We could use Vol's Anvil to attack this right away. It still won't be an easy fight. Who are their enemies? Who can we bypass? Here's the problem. If we declare war on them, we have to declare war on everyone. Oh, uh, no. If we declare war on Karak Norn... Hang on. If we declare war on Karak Norn, and they call in their ally, then maybe... We only have to go to war with those two. Not, not with the entire Empire forces. Um... We can't hire any regiment of renown. This is what we've got. We'll be outnumbered by three units without any artillery. Now, if I recall, Karak Izor is not the most difficult settlement ever to attack. And if we have Vol's Anvil, we... It's not ideal. This is not ideal at all. I mean, Iron Breakers are in there. We're not going to be able to win against that. Iron Break, like, the archers will do nothing. And going into melee with them is pointless. And without any regiment of renown, like Tyr Tyrion won't be able to beat that. So, of the king. like zero percent chance. So we're gonna go for just Karak Norn. So I'm gonna head down to Myrmidons, and we'll just see how we go with that. I'd love to be able to do it, and if I felt like I could win, I'd, I'd do it. But I, I literally feel like no, there's no cheese that I could do to win that because Iron Breakers they will not die. Um. But yeah, let's do this, because that'll also help us in the defensive siege there. And if we're lucky, Marathi might go away. I'll go with the Ruby Onion Phoenix. Even though most races don't utilize fire attacks, we'll just do what we can. It doesn't even have anything here. If we're going up against wolves, magic attacks actually going to hurt us more than help. So I'll just grab this. She doesn't need it. And I'm not even. I'm going to go for the ward save, because Tyrion's our best unit, and I want him to, to tank as much damage as possible. Nothing else we can really do here. We could go into diplomacy, maybe, and let's just see if we can get some trade agreements. We're too weak, that's the problem. They like us, but... But if you're too weak, you just... You can't get trade agreements. Yeah. So... Don't even bother with diplomacy until your strength ranking goes up a little bit. It's just, you can't do anything. Nobody wants to negotiate with you. Doesn't matter how much they like you. So yeah, it, it all just depends on what kind of army is sitting at Vol's Anvil. We ri Sorry, not Vol's Anvil. Um, Myrmidons. If it's a full stack there, even if it's tier 1 garrison, we won't be able to win. And we just have to look. Maybe Zaraxil would be a place to go instead. But we don't have much time either. Because eventually we're going to lose that settlement. There's no way I'll hold it forever. I'll hold on to it for as long as I can. But we just got to find somewhere to call home so that I can recruit a new army. Because the thing is with Tyrion, if you recruit just spearmen and archers, which is okay for the beginning of the campaign, I don't know how we're going to bloody deal with it late campaign. Uh, here... At the very least, an all spearman and archer army isn't going to cost very much, and just even of just base income, you can afford it very easily. It doesn't cost like one thousand two hundred. It's very cheap. I also saw that we we have a Lariel. so she can help a little bit.
So we didn't lose the settlement. Let's see what happens now. Oh, thank fuck. It's nothing there. Okay, so it's only got five units, and it's it's a ruin. So that's gonna we don't even need Vol's Anvil. It's all it's, Vol's Anvil's now just to help us destroy a siege tower. Um, okay, so that's that's good. All right, well um, there's nothing else we can do. We'll attack them next turn. The downside with taking a ruined settlement, though, is it's going to take us some time to rebuild it. And it's a port settlement, so it actually needs to be tier 2 before we'll get any barracks. Because so, the tier 1 building is is going to have to be the port. So it's going to take some time to grow. Shouldn't take long, but it's time that we're not really doing anything, and that's a problem. you got to be proactive. At least we're not surrounded by enemies out there. Doesn't look like they're going to make the attack. Oh wait, has Clan Rectus has even had their turn? I think they have. Yeah. Because all playable factions go first, and then the non-playable factions. Yeah, so they're not attacking it this turn. There's also a, a rebellion out there. There's a chance that the rebellion might hit some of the uh, the army standing outside of it. Uh, we'll just, but they won't do it until their army's at full strength, and that'll take a few turns. Now, once we've taken Myrmidons, you have what the they nerve want? to stand before me. Yeah, if I can get some money out of them, that would be good. Get a non-aggression pad, because I just don't want to fight them. <sighs> nah, whatever. <laughs> we'll offer them a new deal on, on our turn, so it'll be fine. They'll likely still accept. <sighs> they, they don't understand how to haggle, do they? I think it was the Shadow Gore war, war herd. Or maybe. Yeah, I think it was this one. Yeah, see, it's fine. Sometimes the same deal works. Alright, we'll just go for 300. I could manually change it to like 500, but honestly, for pennies, who cares? Oh, the Doom Tide's come in. It's fine, we don't have to really worry about it. In fact, that could actually be good, because that's going to put a lot of pressure on on them over here. What's Kalidor doing out here? The f Whatever. Whatever, it's a weird campaign. Alright, so. We don't want to declare war on them, because we'll go to war with Clan Anglin as well. Instead, go to the Wood Elves. Because you can't negotiate with those other dudes. Join war against... Karak Norn. Yes. Cool. And since their other army is too far away, I'm not expecting a reprisal for a while. To the no point losing the it. Now, growing the settlements. We can get extra growth if there's public order under control. Because money's, money's fine, we don't have to worry about that. Um... Another thing that we could do is recruit Alariel here. And what she'll do is, over the end turn, she'll provide a trait which will last for the province, for the, for the region, for 10 turns. Uh, extra growth and public order. And since money is not really an issue right now, it's fine. Oh, this is so bad. Why did you do this? Seven points into blue? Why? It, blue tier one. Oh my god. 
Four points, sure. Lightning Strike's good, you know. Elven Healing, good. Quartermaster you don't need with High Elves, but still. Good stuff. <sighs> we need to go for this stuff here, it's good. It's just, this campaign is oh, gone wait, so wait. badly. Leveling up your Lords is very important, and doing a bad job, like, which he has. He's done a bad job of it. So. And I can't, I can't reverse course on that. All right, let's have a look here. Yeah, Strength of Avalon, that would be good. Because I want to get them. But they're tier 4 units, it's going to take a while. That's going to take 3 turns. We'll try to get the growth up to 1 before it's finished, so that we can go straight to the other one. But it's going to take time. There's nothing else for us to do. This is yeah. maybe 2 turns away from attacking something. And I don't know how long they're going to lay siege for. But selling out would be a mistake. If we can manage to win one siege. One assault from these guys. Then maybe maybe we could recruit a general in there and hire the Regiment of Renown. There wouldn't be that much available, but... Oh, here we go. That actually seems doable. Oh, Marathi's not showing up. I mean, we're still up against more than a full stack. And some of their units are pretty good. But I'll, I'll just do the best I can. In all honesty, losing this battle... Like, it's either going to lose it now or later. We, we can't hold it. It's just a matter of how long can we hold it. That's all. And that's another problem. If I recruit a general in here... And high regiment of renown... It's going to cost us a lot of money. And this settlement, because of the way it's been built up... Doesn't make a lot of money. So... Uh, since we can't really utilize it for recruiting just because we're just not going to have any time like you can get dragons from here but do you think they're going to give you three turns to hire dragons you're just not going to be able to get them so that's just that it doesn't matter how good the settlement is in terms of recruitment we just can't utilize it because they're just going to keep besieging it over and over and over again defeat one army another one will just come over and attack all right, so, come up with a plan. Try and destroy one of these siege towers. All right, I think normally what I do with sieges, I don't, I hate fighting on the walls. I find it frustrating on legendary difficulty because AI get massive melee buffs. It's best, best to use choke points wherever possible, but we don't really have the ideal army for utilizing choke points. And we do have tier five towers and they can absolutely wreck enemy infantry. So let's utilize that. So Lothan and Sea Guard. If they could shred these guys, stop them from coming in this way, that would be great. These guys here can still shoot at them from there. And if these guys here could... Defend... Activate the towers and defend the walls as long as possible. You activate that tower as well, because they do have reinforcements coming. I will put guys up on the walls as long as... As much as needed. And I don't expect them to do a great job. I just want the towers to keep shooting, because reinforcements is going to stagger in slowly. Now, as for the cavalry, I want them to come out here and get rid of the artillery. But you can't do that at the start. You have to wait until they've left, been left undefended. Plenty of magic, and we'll do the best we can. So, I really need to destroy one of these siege towers. So, I don't believe a single Vol's Anvil is enough to... Sorry, Vol's Hammer is enough to, uh, to destroy a siege tower. So, whichever... Siege Tower takes the most damage. That's the one we'll put it down on. So this one here has just completely been missing. So just forget about it. We're relying on this guy here. I need you to take out that Siege Tower. It's done a decent amount of damage. Because I believe that this does about 50% damage to them. Alright, I think I think that's enough to destroy it. But let's let's make sure... Here we go. Yes! Good job. Good job, good job. Okay, with the siege tower down. Did their entire unit get wiped out? If that's the case, awesome. That was, that was, um... 
uh, that was a, what's it called? A storm vermin. And more importantly now, they have to use ladders if they want to use this. We can focus much heavier and just slowing them down from here. So that's good. The siege tower on its own would not have destroyed it. We needed that bull's hammer. So I believe this is another storm vermin. Now on legendary difficulty, white lines of trace lose to storm vermin. Like, pretty badly. I guess the main thing here it, that we really need to ensure is that they don't activate the towers. Because when I do send my cavalry out there, I need to make sure the towers aren't shooting at us. And yeah, utilizing the towers now is our way to do as much damage to them as possible. It's actually working out pretty well. This is a good start. Funnel units up here. Still can't send my cavalry out there, not while these guys are hanging around. But if they end up using all of their ammunition, then we don't even need to do that. stand back a little bit. I don't think they're firing properly. So, Doom Flayers are pretty damn dangerous. So maybe target them. Here's our chance. Still a few other units there. Gonna get wrecked on the bloody charge. It's just the way it is. These are anti-large, those guys. Shit, they're starting to capture the tower. Put more guys up there. seems like it's okay not great sometimes they try and sneak through as well and get to get to the town square so damaged units can go and hang out over there because need to slow them down they got a lot of kills but I don't think they really did a good job 
One of the siege towers is gone. Uh, siege towers, artillery units is gone. The bad thing about this is that this guy still had a lot of ammo. Right. And I bring them over here, come in, come in through here. Just let the towers deal with that. Alright, uh... Yeah, get off the wall now. Victory is in our grasp. We've won. <laughs> How about that? And the damage the damage is bad, but it's not that bad. We're we're okay. Definitely do as much damage to him as possible. I don't want to chase after that. Just because we will end up taking more damage because of the towers. Get back in here and just kill whoever you can. It would have been nice if we could have killed some of their heroes. I don't think we did. Ah, oh, quick, get him. God damn, he's low in health. Problem is, cavalry are not really the best at running down heroes. I know it's stupid, but that's just the way it is here. They're not really doing great there. Come on, too slow. Uh, I don't know if he's dead or he ran away, it was so close to the edge. Well, there's another one over here who's trying to get away, and that's a warp lightning dude, uh, engineer, and they're, they're very valuable, so killing him would be good. But he sort of slipped away there, I'm not sure if we're going to have enough time to get at him. If he comes out through here... Yeah, okay. You might just be able to cut him off. Might as well heal. So, yeah. Alright, they're, they're doing a pretty good job at actually getting rid of him. No point healing any of them. Only single entity units is worth doing. Heroic victory. How about that? I wasn't expecting that. Wow. The towers did a lot of work for us. But this was one of the rare occasions where it could have done it. You know, tier 1 towers, just shit. And they didn't have that much siege equipment, so that really helped. Now, the biggest downside here is that we've taken lopsided damage. We've got four units here that got absolutely smashed, and two units, three units that got pretty badly damaged, maybe four. It all just depends on whether or not the, these guys here besiege us over the end turn. I'll take the replenishment, because I'd like to hold on to this for as long as possible. Now, it would actually be better if Marathi captured this as opposed to Rebels. So, I guess we'll just see what happens. So, yeah, they're going to go lick their wounds elsewhere. It all just depends if they're going to besiege. I don't think they will. But we'll see. Marathi will do, do it over the end turn. It's also costing us a lot of money now because it's no longer under siege. It would, we would have actually made more money if we lost the settlements, but it's okay. Another thing to consider. Oh, wait, that's Nagarond. Like, that that army can't help, but if it was Cult of Pleasure, if they confederated, having the Black Ark bombing us, it's, it's not, not fun. Hard to dodge. Can dodge it, but you have to be on, like, high alert constantly for, like, 10 minutes. Anytime you see, like, a circle around your troops, you gotta move it immediately. And that just usually mitigates the damage, doesn't get rid of it entirely. 
And sometimes it's not worth, if a battle is hopeless, it's sort of like, oh, I can't be fucked. Putting in that much effort, let's just exhaust you. See, we're losing money now on that. Alright, well, at least we got the, the turn here with this. Uh, oh, Sisters of Avalorns can be recruited here. Do not order me. It's not even that good of an army, really. Oh. Alright, hang on. How's the garrison? It's like, they're better, but they they haven't recovered fully. Alright, so you can see here, because it's shining, we've got it's the... Okay, it's growth plus 10. And public order plus 3. So, at least we've got some growth coming in. Alaria and then... The Ever -Queen. Oh, God. A promising lieutenant. Is there anyone here that provides growth? Glad you got some shit generals in here. Lethal grace given form. Oh wait, did I hire a new one there? Oops. <laughs> it, it doesn't matter. Champion of the it's all right. Queen. Okay, so that that gets our income. Okay. And you know that saves us a little bit of time. Just a little bit on the growth there. Champion. Uh, we could hire a regiment of renown, or we could hire it over here. Like I said, our finances aren't great. The Asser of Trouble! Doesn't look like it's that dangerous of an army. But the problem here is that if they besiege it, then... You know, we're not going to be able to recruit anything over the intern. I just, the thing here is that I just don't know what's going to happen. I will not. And they got 10 growth. Ah, uh, 10 influence, I mean. So you can't get any entrepreneurs, not that it would really matter that much. See, if I was to get a, uh, a, a handmaiden, right, and sail it over to Myrmidons, that could really help, because we could, we, they help with growth. You must restore Gotta consider, though, that our income is bad. It's really bad. Okay, it's not as bad as I thought. Um, I mean, it's it's largely because she's raiding, and that's going to end next turn, because she's raiding for more money than the province even makes. The people are restive. Well, firstly, try to demolish this, and... Oh, I'd love to access the global recruitment, but... Can't. Lord... F okay, whatever. Um, just get rid of that. Oh, wait, wait, have we researched it? Yeah, you've researched it, so you don't really need it. Get rid of that. You do need this. Do I need it right now, though? Well, it does provide an extra unit in the garrison. It was, it was pretty helpful. Okay, so let's hire the handmaiden. I only get... I can get two. I think we'll just hire... Two shit ones for the time being. It's, it's not good, but it's, it's fine. The Definitely affects the income. Um, I don't Hand want her staying inside the, the settlement, so just take it outside there, and then it's fine. Okay, so we want her to sail to Myrmidons. It's going to take a little while, but she'll increase the growth there. We don't worry about the money, because they do provide a, a, a growth of 10. Could hire another one. I could go with this, but I, I want to save up the influence. And then there's this one here, divisive minus two public order. That's fine. Handmaiden of the Ever Queen. Honestly, a revolt here is not going to matter. But we we want them to be able to get moving quickly to the thing, and otherwise they have to. Yeah. So we could recruit another general here. 
Should I probably hire someone who's shit? We've got plenty of money, so it's okay. In order to defend the next wave. Now, that would be ideal if these guys, they, they, they could be recruited. I don't think they will get the chance, but it's there just in case we get the chance. <laughs> that's, that's all there is to it. Um, don't demolish this because we need the artillery. And we'll see. We'll just see if we can hold it. They'll either attack Marathi. It, it all just depends on what Marathi does. If Marathi besieges the settlement, then maybe this one here will attack Marathi. Maybe. Based on this as well, looks like it's going to be shit. We might actually be able to defend Torkorali. But we're hemorrhaging cash now. Um, one thing that we could do as well, if we want to free up some funds, is disband some of these Lothan Sea Guard. I'm going to disband them anyway. But the problem is, it's going to take us a while to recruit the units here. So, we have 10 turns worth of money at the moment. Only 10 turns. It's not much. But then again, if she... Look, let's get rid of one of them. Make it two. Okay, now we've got like 20 turns worth of money. And when she stops, besie stops raiding, then we'll actually have... Um, we'll actually have a higher income. That's all we could do. Clan Rictus, they're going to go for a while. They're going to be licking their wounds for a while after that. Now we just have to worry about Cult of Pleasure. Unless she brings in reinforcements, which I really hope she doesn't. So let's see what she does here. Okay, so our troops aren't going to get recruited. That's fine. I'm actually glad that she did that. And it's all going to depend now on the Rebellion. Is the Rebellion going to attack Marathi or not? Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. If it attacks Marathi, then we'll be able to sally out and defeat them, and we might actually be able to hold on to Torkorali. If that happens, it might actually be best to disband Tyrion over at Myrmidons. Because it's too expensive. This, is, this army that we're recruiting is not going to be cheap. Okay, so let's see what happens. So I'll turn that off because I want to see what they do. Please attack, please attack, please attack, please attack it. Oh! Oh, oh yes. Oh, good job. Oh, that's so good. Marathi's forces are now too weak to stop us. We, did, we didn't get any recruitment, but we got our money back on it, so it's okay. Loyal subject. Asher, attack! Oh, very nice. Good. We might actually be able to hold this area. Okay, Hand if that's the case... The ever -queen. Hang on, this one here provides deficit to public order. I'm going to attach you to the army. I stand and this one's going to go to Tyrion. Now... We've really got to get ourselves some more influence. Growth all provinces. Okay. 
Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Money, money. Money's tight. We stand ready for action. What have they got down here? I reckon I could capture that. Alright, look, we've got enough money to get us through. It's it's gonna be expensive, right, to fix this. I will get this fruitful dude. Warden of Sathory. That doesn't matter. Um, cause Servant of the Tower. Alright, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What should we get here? Looking at magic. Um Earth Blood's pretty good. Yeah, I'll go with that. Time is of the essence. Hang on, we're gonna need some artillery as well. Get two of those to begin with. Yeah, because we don't have the global bonus bonus. Global recruitment bonus. From Tyrion. I could recruit them in one turn. From if if we had it. Which he could have had it by now. Knowledge awaits. Servant of the tower. Yeah, we can't pursue Marathi, but she's probably not going to launch the attack. So we're going to go lick her wounds. Oh, that rebellion. So good. Alright, so uh, Tyrion over here. Let's disband another one of them. Because it, it now doesn't seem like it's that crucial we're here. Like, I really didn't expect to be able to hold that settlement. So... I mean, well, we've got a lot of money at the moment. We should just, you know, be a bit more careful. So that extra growth is coming in here. It's it's not a lot, but it helped it by, you know, 20%. It's, it's better than nothing. And that's going to get it up to 20 per turn. It's going to take a little while. He'll need to stay here. There's likely going to be another rebellion. Uh, there's Mistnar over here, but it makes no sense for us to, to attack um, Bordelow. Yeah, I can't pursue them without the help of the garrison. I don't expect them to to help. Um, magic would be very helpful, but see, my problem here is that I would. So, so this one here is the best for um, high elves. Chain is a uh, I'm gonna go with this. What do you require? Is that I like to go for entrepreneurs, but he's got no influence, so there's not much I can do about that. So they'll attach to the army. Ready. It's not gonna be that useful in the siege if we come down over here. But we we just gotta get moving. Getting Stand getting by. even just a couple of these units will make a big difference. The garrison here, there's only nine units. So it just depends on what, what they get up to. What we can do is when Alariel comes back, we could switch her in we here and she'll get some various bonuses. So, I guess we just need to stay here, uh, build up the army until we financially can't sustain doing that anymore, and then we need to go looting like crazy. So, Marathi is buggering off. If she's going south, we should go north. Oh, okay. She's just raiding, so... Our army, if we recruit for one more turn, should actually be strong enough to be able to beat it. Now, I'm not going to attach those agents to our army just yet. I want to send one north and one south to go and scout. If they're coming over here to attack us, we're in big trouble. At least the walls will be built. Funny thing is, this may have actually been a waste of time in hindsight. Maybe. I mean, it's good to have a plan B. Dangerous area. Problem here is, it, just, it takes so long to recruit anything. At least we'll have walls there next turn, and we'll have you know, Tyrion with a couple of extra units. But up against a full stack of maybe elite units, because we're in the late game now. The Chaos Invasion's begun. If that's full of Black Orcs, there's no way we'd win. And I've I've weakened his army. And if they do declare war on us, we should just cut our losses here, because it will save us a load of cash, and put all of our investment into Ulthwan, trying to fight there. 
Because if I can keep managing to hold on to that settlement and keep getting more and more Sisters of Avalorn, Sisters of Avalorn is our doom stack. They'll beat everything. Of course, they might just be stopping by to go attack somewhere else. But, you know, it doesn't hurt to be a bit cautious about it. Alright, so money, money's going down, but we demolished a bunch of buildings, which gave us a little bit more of a buffer. We've still got more than 10 turns of this current deficit. Because we just didn't need those structures, right? You might think, oh, but dragons! No, too expensive. Um, so we didn't build this building here, which gives us access to nobles. And public order. Costs 8,000, though. Because, like, you really should build that. But money is really tight. Because I would love a noble. Hmm. And there's money buildings in here. Time is of the essence. Okay. Now that we've got two Eagle Claw Bolt Throwers, we can get rid of this. I only wanted the two. We got nine units. She got twelve. Could we win? We've actually got eleven units. What would you have of me? Your and she doesn't have that much. Princess of Althran. Could we win? In which case, maybe you should just come back. The Druki will fall. I don't know. I still still go ahead with the plan. She's not gonna be able to participate in this battle this turn. I will not. Defender of the Asir. Can we get anyone better than this? Or well, they're all just tier one. We got a princess here that's brisk. She's not going to be available for another three turns. All right, get the brisk one. What would you have of me? So Lisa's I'll been leveled up a bit. <laughs> Whatever. You seek illumination. And we're going to attack Marathi. Ladriel, grant me your sight. Should have enough movement to catch her. Time is of the essence. Oh shit. For order. I still think we can win. We don't need prisoners. Because we do have some Sisters of Avalon. Which are really, really good. We've got some heroes that we can utilize to tank their shots. We've got artillery superiority, so they'll probably charge at us. The, the biggest problem here is definitely going to be Marathi herself, but she's damaged. The Sisters of Slaughter, I think we'll slaughter them. Um, shit, the ground's not amazing. The best ground we can. It's flat area-ish over here. Yeah, she's pretty high leveled up. Not gonna be an easy fight, if nothing else. Alright. Princess of Alfwan. What we can do though, because we got um that spell. Orders to see. Um You know what it is, uh Ned of Amantok, we can pin her down. She doesn't have anything particularly Uh, fast in her army. 180 range. We should be able to outrange it. If their artillery starts shooting at us, it's okay. Yeah. 
So, try to dodge these shots. Delay their artillery, because they can't move and shoot at the same time. Doesn't do that much damage anyway. Okay, now of course we want to slow them down as much as possible. This is why I went with the Light Wizard. Hold on, hold on. Good, Marathi's been slowed down as well. Try and try and get rid of her. Could use magic against her. Bit of damage, nothing major, but it's okay. We're, we're doing well so far. They're taking a massive amount of damage as well because of the artillery. Not necessarily a lot of kills though, but that's okay. So she just casted something. Okay, that's fine. Popping down an earth blood over there. Looks like, yeah, she casted an, an overcasted version. It's a lot of damage, but it's okay. to sit there and tank her for a bit. She's going down. She is down. Save the magic up. Alright, go take out that artillery over there. I made a very good decision in getting a Light Wizard. Holy crap, did they win the battle for me here. We barely lost anything. And yeah, we just try and run them down as much as possible. That went just so beautifully. Also, the damage that was done to these here, we can actually heal them. Slow down, slow down. Servant of the tower. Just get a little bit of recharge. It'll still be, be a while before they run off the battlefield, so it's all good. You guys can just stop now. You did excellent in this battle. So Cult of Pleasure is in a really bad shape right now. At least in terms of that, that particular army. Alright, uh, just one more, just in case. And there we go. Four losses. That went so nicely, and it was all thanks to that Light Wizard. Even though they got no kills, they're, they just slowed the enemy down so much. And they blobbed up, allowed the artillery to inflict loads of kills. Marathi died so fast.
I'm telling you, sisters of Avalon, they wreck everything. Even dwarves, you know, you might think, oh, but they're magic against dwarves. Yeah, but they're also armor piercing. Victory for the Asser! Hold the captive! Yeah, see, that's five turns of reduced replenishment. Put them in fetters. I'll do this and we'll be at full strength. A just reward. Defender of the Asser. Okay, now the problem here is that if they've got another army waiting down here, which doesn't look like it because we've got intel there. A worthy ally. So what do we need for you? Bowmaster would be best. If I didn't make a move accidentally over there, I might have been able to reach them, but it's alright. Just come stand over here. When's the next rebellion? It'll be a little while till the next rebellion. And let's recruit more sisters of Avalorn. I'm not going to get sword masters of Hoeth. You don't need them. Don't need them. So over here, I still don't know if we're going to hold it. It is very tempting to build this though. Because we do need it. You need influence, but money is a problem right now. So we're definitely going to need the entertainment building. Because once that's built up, you know, extra 240. That's pretty good. And this will give us access to, to nobles as well. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to get it. I'm going to do it. Okay. Alright, and we'll move on from there. Now, I'm only going to make this video here an hour. Since we're at 57 minutes, we're just going to go through this and we end it here. And basically, I'm going to leave the rest up to you guys whether or not we're going to continue this. I'm happy to do another episode. I'm happy to continue this on a live stream. But it's all just going to depend on how much you guys like it. So, if you do enjoy it, you know, share it. Post it on Reddit even. I don't really care. Um... And we'll see how we go. Because uh, we are not out of the shit yet. It's gonna, it's, we're in the long haul for this one. This is this is not one, not two. Th three episodes minimum to fix this. Because uh, we've got to get back to Lothurn. And it's just... There's a lot of fighting that we have to do to get there. So let's have a look at what Wurzag's going to do. Okay. So we might actually be able to hold that. You know, for now. Speaking of which, I didn't build the port. Forgot about that. But I'm sort of less invested in this region now that I'm like, we've actually got a fighting chance in Ulthwan, which I wasn't expecting. I was expecting to lose that initial siege. Even against the Skaven, I wasn't sure. And then, you know, with Marathi getting smashed by the rebels, we actually have a chance. Even though she won the battle against the rebels, she took so much damage that we were able to, to get the win on her, you know, a turn or two later. But I think we've made an excellent start to this so far, but we are so far from out of the woods. But yeah, if I can manage to get a... A, uh, a Sisters of Avalorn Doomstack. There is no army in the game that can beat it on even terms. Uh, well, that's not true. That's not true. It's just really cost effective, that's all. It certainly does have trouble against, like, massed cavalry charges. And Necrofex Colossus armies, but that's. Against anything that Dark Elves could bring. Unless it's, like, all dragons. Yeah. We should be okay. So, money's definitely a problem, and capturing two and a half thousand gold worth of money, um, assaulting that would honestly be pretty easy. Oh, it didn't all get done. That was providing an extra recruit slot, wasn't it? That's okay. Um, anyway, yeah, I think we'll leave it here. Let's have a look at the situation here as well. 
So it's growing slowly. We could ta start taxing it. But yeah, building that would be good. And at least we've got walls here. But it's going to be four turns until it grows. Maybe less when I build that. But yeah, we'll leave it at that and we'll see how we go. Alright guys, so like and subscribe. There may or may not be a part two. That'll largely depend on you guys, whether or not you want to see more. And uh, we'll see you next time, fuckers.